video, we're going to be taking the best WWE Elite figures from 2019 all the way through 2023, putting them into their own top 10 and creating the top 10 WWE Elite figures from those years. So over the last five years, we've gotten a lot of great WWE Elite action figures. And what I did is took every single top 10 from 2019 through 2023 that I've done on my channel, put the best figures in a top 10, and that's what we have here today. So zero 2024 figures will be included in this video. So anything released this year will not be included. We'll save that for the end of the year where we do our top 10 WWE Elite to 2024, our top 10 WWE Ultimates of 2024, and so on and so forth. So with that being said, man, let's get into my top 10 WWE Elites from 2019 all the way through 2023. Coming in at number 10, we have the WWE Elite Ruthless Aggression Series Walmart exclusive Shelton Benjamin. This is a figure that I waited on for years and years, man, way before 2019. And this figure was a 2023 release, but this has been on my Mattel wish list for over a decade almost. I've been waiting on this figure for a very long time. They finally gave it to us, and I know I fixed it up a little bit right here, but any Shelton Benjamin Elite, especially Flashback, is going to be high up on my list. I just love this figure. I think the formula is really good. I was so intrigued to get this figure. I was so excited to get this figure. And again, this is my own personal top 10. I didn't say it was the right top 10. I'm just telling you it's my top 10. If you want to make your own top 10, feel free. But this is my first figure on the list. I, I almost didn't put it on here, but it's just too good. I was too excited to see this figure, and when it was shown off, I was over the moon, so I had to put Shelton Benjamin at number 10. Coming in at number 9 is another release from 2023, and it's going to be WWE Elite Series 102 Gunther. This is one of those figures that is pretty much perfect from head to toe. This is one of my favorite releases from last year. I think it did crack the top 5 from last year. Maybe even the top 3. It may have been number 3 from last year. But this figure is so fun. It poses around great. Great formula. New updated technology for a Gunther. We have this new entrance robe as well. Great attire. And one of those rare instances, in my opinion, where it's actually better than his Ultimate Edition, and I think that's the reason this Gunther is on there. It's just a perfect representation of Gunther and you really can't ask for more outside of that it's just one of those guys that it looks like you took Gunther and shrunk him down into six seven inch scale and that always does wonders for a figure so that's why he cracked the top 10. At number 8, we have the WWE Elite Survivor Series Jeff Hardy figure. This figure came out in 2019, and it actually makes me want to vomit because it does seem like yesterday this figure released. But I love this figure so much. The only con about this figure and why it's not higher is it is missing some tattoo decos and some different details that would have threw it over the top. But I love the sleeves, love the head sculpt, very unique braided hair Jeff Hardy, and one that I bought like 6 or 7 of. I love this figure. It's a great representation of Jeff Hardy, even if it doesn't have the tattoos and some other details. I just love the head sculpt so much, and it's it's such a great figure of Jeff Hardy that I love it so much. This is one of my favorite elites over the last few years that we have gotten, so that's why he comes in at number eight. It's just a great piece, and I'm pretty sure this figure is pretty sought after as well. I'm glad that I... I think I found a lot on eBay, or somebody listed these for like $12 a pop or something. They had a lot of them, so I bought five or six of them straight up because I knew that this figure would probably be sought after, so I did pick up a handful of them, but I love this figure a lot. At number 7, we have the Target exclusive WWE Elite Legends Eddie Guerrero. A fantastic Eddie Guerrero, and I know it doesn't have double jointed arms and some other things. Maybe the skin tone isn't correctly accurate and all those different things, man. But this is such a good figure of Eddie Guerrero. I think I would take it over. And I know that, you know, the Legends figure and the SmackDown 4-pack and those different figures, those did release after the fact, and those are from this year, right? So I can't include those in this countdown. But this figure is so damn good. It's better than the Elite 95. It's a much better head sculpt than the Elite 95. And I think this figure is so good. It's it's my favorite version of Eddie Guerrero we've gotten so far from Mattel. Even if we do have that new from the vault, which I do like as well, I think this one may beat it, even if it does have just single jointed arms. I love the gear. It's a great figure. I'm your poppy t-shirt. Just an immaculate release from Mattel. At number six, we may have a shocker right here, man. We have the white WWE Elite Damian Priest. This figure is so damn good. I always talk about Damian Priest figures, how nobody bats a thousand. Damian Priest is one of those rare guys that does bat a thousand. He has so many great figures. Every figure they make of him, it seems like they get better and better. Love the white and silver gear. Love all the details. He's very toyetic. Poses around great. Great likeness. Great head sculpt. Great entrance vest that's not even featured right here. You have the removable necklace. It is a great piece. It's such a good piece. So many unique sculpts and stuff. It just really checks all the boxes that you want here. And this is a fantastic release by Mattel. And I like this figure a lot, even if, you know, he's not my favorite character. He's not, you know, one of my favorite wrestlers even. I just think that they did an outstanding job on this Damian Priest. And I had to give it some praise here. This is one of the most underrated elites that is out there. 
Coming in at number five now, we are in the top five. Elite 74 Finn Balor. I love this figure so much. The number one WWE Elite from 2019. Such a great release. Still one of my favorite releases that Mattel's ever done. I just love the gear. I love the smiley face Finn. You got the great Royal Rumble gear. It came with this cloth goods leather jacket. The only thing really hindering the figure is over time, this head sculpt has kind of went down in my opinion. You know, it doesn't have double jointed arms and stuff like that. So it does kind of discredit the figure just a little bit, I'd say. But still such a good release, such a great figure, and one of my favorite single-jointed elites of all time. It's so good. It's such a great figure, great representation of Finn Balor, especially from that time period. I don't know how you wouldn't like this figure, man. It's so good. Such a great figure overall. I love this figure. Finn Balor is one of my guys, and this is a great representation of him. And the Elite 82 Finn Balor almost made the list. That was the number one Elite from 2020, I think it was. And Eddie Guerrero actually came in behind that one, but I felt like this one was better. And over time, I think that the Elite 82 has kind of slid down the ranking because of that head sculpt. And I think that the Legends Eddie now is probably that best Elite from that year. But I still love the Elite 82 Finn, but I think the Elite 74 deserved this spot right here. Coming in at number four is one of my favorite elites ever, man. This Elite 99 Brock Lesnar is so damn good, man. Farmer Brock Lesnar in the overalls with the regular edition and the chase. I don't know if I could pick if I had to choose. I'd probably pick the, the chase in the blue, even though I felt like the jean color on the overalls is a bit saturated. Still such a fun figure. I love the double jointed arms. Very unique torso going on. This is one of my favorite releases because of how creative it is, and it's so fun to pose around and stuff like that. This was the number one WWE Elite from 2022 for me, and it's so good, man. It's so fun, and the detail to get the dagger or the sword right there on his throat, like as, you know, like coming out of the collared shirt. You have the undershirt, under the flannel, under the overalls. It's just a very fun, posable figure, and it doesn't have pin joints. You guys know if this released today, the pin joints would have this guy stiff as hell, but this right here is a fantastic. Fantastic release, fantastic figure overall. I love this figure so much. Honestly, it, it could possibly be even higher. This one's just so fun, and I think that this is a fantastic figure. Coming in at number three is the Elite Series 91 Rob Van Dam, a release that I waited on for years and years, much like Shelton Benjamin, one that was on my list, my wish list for a very long time. Tiger Stripes Rob Van Dam, double jointed arms. Great, fantastic figure right here, man. I mean, this, this is something that I longed for from Mattel for so many years, and to finally get it was so great, and I knew it would be so good. Even if the head sculpt's not the best of all time, could easily head swap it nowadays, right, with the modern technology, but this was the number one figure from 2021, the number one Elite figure from 2021. 21 was this figure right here and I just think that it's so good. It's unbelievable. I think it's so good. I just love this figure so much. So had to make sure that I included this here. Just an unbelievable figure. If you're an RVD fan, you know how much this figure kicks A. It's just such a good one. It's so good. Posability. I know it has the large knee pads. You can switch those out too if you wanted to. But you know, there's just little things like that. But it doesn't even matter because this figure is iconic to me. Something that I longed for forever and it had to be included in the top three or top two. Had to be included in my top three elites over that time period. Coming in at number two may shock you, man. The WWE Elite SummerSlam build a figure pink Dolph Ziggler. Now, I do have a bunch of fix-ups right here. I just have like an entrance vest on there, and then I do have like a silver jacket, and then I have that jean vest, Orange Cassidy deal with the head swap. So, I know it's a, it varies a little bit here, but... And you probably thought this figure was going to come in at number one based off of our 2023 top figures of the year. I did put this as my number one favorite WWE Elite of last year, but after some consideration and kind of balancing some different things out and trying to mix in some overall opinions, not just my own, you know, my own personal personal choices. I think some other things have taken precedent, and I'll kind of get into that when we reveal the number one figure, but I think that this is such a good figure. I love it, man. Being a big Dolph Ziggler fan, love the gear, love the posability, love the likeness. I love the, you know, the different fix-ups you can make here, which doesn't necessarily fall into it, because a lot of figures on this list you could fix up and make into cool figures as well, but this still plays into it. I, I love it. It's such a great figure, and I know it didn't come with any entrance gear, but I love this figure. It's just, it's such a great posable figure. If Mattel would make all of their figures like this with the, the great gear, great great posability, great likeness, great representation of a character, then they'd be undefeated. And they do it a lot of the time. It's just, you know, some rise above the best. But I love this Ziggler. It's, I, I don't know, man, I could never find one of these in stores. Much like the Survivor Series Jeff, I think somebody uploaded a couple to eBay and I did get some of those there. But I, I love this piece, man. Great figure overall and I'm happy to have this in the collection. Definitely one of my favorite elites that Mattel's revealed over the last five years. If not, one of my favorite Mattel elites they've ever done. <laughs> And the number one WWE Elite released over the last five years is going to be the Defining Moments Ringside Exclusive 
Hell in a Cell torn picked bruised Cody Rhodes. This figure is just unbelievable. And I think that it deserved the number one ranking because of the step that, that Mattel took and the kind of leap that they took here to give us this accurate representation of that torn peck. Such a defining moment, a perfect release to put in that line. Fantastic Cody Rhodes head sculpts. One of my favorite head sculpts they've done of a character. Just an unbelievably badass moment to replicate in figure form and to create it into an elite and make it into this moment here is just so cool that it had to come in at number one. I just think it's such an unbelievable thing that they did that I think it had to jump over Dolph Ziggler as much as I love that Dolph Ziggler. And you know, my opinions do change. I This figure has grown on me a lot, not to mention how great of a figure it is in terms of the gear and the posability. It doesn't have the new pinless joints. It doesn't have the new massive feet. So it's a really, really good defining moments Cody Rhodes figure right here, man. Just a great release overall. I think it's the best WWE Elite over the last five years. And you may can say that it's recency bias or something, but I think that this one just is so unique because of the moment and because of that that bruising deal that we have there, man. You know, there's no blood and guts line for Mattel. There's no nothing like that. They don't do anything like that. The closest we've gotten is Mankind with his nose or mouth bleeding a little bit with attacks in the back. This is another great figure as well in some ways. But this right here is the cream of the crop. I think that it's the best WWE Elite that we have seen from 2019 to now. I think, I truly believe that. I don't know about 2024 if you included that. I haven't really jotted down my ideas. I know we did the WWE, best WWE Elites so far of 2020. 24, but I think that it changes a little bit because, you know, off the top of the dome, I'm not thinking about it right now. So we'll have to see at the end of the year. But right now, this has been my favorite Elite that they've released in a while next to that Ziggler. And I don't know if it's going to be beaten, especially because before 2019, all the figures had single jointed arms and they didn't have, you know, interchangeable hands. They didn't have, I mean, some of them did, but you know what I mean? They didn't have all the details and the stuff that they're putting into the line now. So I think it's going to be hard to dethrone this Cody Rhodes. I think this Cody Rhodes is one of the best at least they've ever done, not just in the last five years, but this is a really strong figure. If you don't have this one, it, I mean, if you're a Cody fan, you got to have this one. It's just that good, man. But that is my top 10 WWE elites of the last five years from Mattel from 2019. 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023. Again, not including 2024, but I had a great time doing this top 10. You guys know I love ranking figures and doing stuff like that, man, but that is going to wrap the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on this stuff down in the comment section below. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Chime in down below on what you love and dislike or what you think is should be high or should be lower. All those things, man, but I'm getting the hell out. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all your thoughts down below, of course. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. I appreciate you fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your support as always. You guys are unbelievable, but I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.